So I have something fun and different for you all today. We're going to be styling some fall outfits based on themes and trends I've talked about recently, but it's not a typical styling video from me today because we're actually going to be playing dress up with a bunch of gorgeous dresses and accessories kindly sent to me by Babe Beyond. This video is in partnership with them. They specialize in 1920s inspired fashion. Babe Beyond has long been producing higher quality vintage pieces for modern women. They have sent me eight dresses, including a bunch of accessories. So I'm going to take some time to show you everything they sent. And then afterwards, we're going to incorporate some of my own personal pieces and play dress up with my fuller closet but there's going to be a lot of fun outfit inspo and lots of pretty things to look at so i hope you enjoyed this video because i had fun making it so let's take a look at those pieces and then we'll get into the outfits up first we have the thick strap sheer scoop neck dress i really love the fit of this dress it hugs my curves very nicely while still giving me room to breathe in other places. It's very classy and elegant, but still very fun and playful and sexy as well. This dress moves so beautifully with all the fringe and sequins. I love the way that it catches the light. It's just very pretty, very eye-catching. I love the pattern of the sequins. I think it's so cool and it's more intricate the closer you get up to it, but still looks great from a distance. It's very comfortable and I could easily wear this dress all night long at a party or a wedding or some kind of occasion like that. I love the cutout, I love the slit in the leg, it's overall very cute. I paired it with the shell shaped pearl beaded clutch. How gorgeous is this bag? I mean, come on. It is packed to the brim with detail, I love all the variation of the pearl sizes, it is super cool, I love that they form patterns and stripes throughout the design. But what's cool is that it also comes with this removable chain, so you can easily add that to transform it into a crossbody if that is more comfortable for you to carry around, and it is completely lined with pockets, it is very spacious inside. It can hold your phone and wallet and keys. I love the shell design. I think that's really cool and unique. Even the handle and clasp are detailed. It's a beautiful bag. Next, we have the classic sleeveless casual dress, and I am wearing it in the color sapphire blue slash white. This dress to me is definitely casual, as it says in the name, but it can still very easily be dressed up. But what I like about it is that it's very easy to tone it down and wear it to pretty much wherever. This dress is also available in black and white, but I really do love this shade of blue. It's so bright and beautiful and commanding. It really demands attention. But the bold color is balanced by the simplicity of the design with that white striping that goes all the way across. I love it. It's very sporty. It's almost superhero-like. I really like the design. It's very cool. I did dress it up with the reticulated beaded pearl bucket purse. This bag is so much fun and so unique. It's like a little pearl basket. It's so sweet and inside comes this little pouch that is open and closable with a drawstring. You just pull the top open to put your stuff in there and then when you're done you pull the strings close and insert it back into the bag or you could style it without the pouch, which I think, you know, could be very interesting as well. All around, I really enjoy this piece. I think it's a fun little whimsical addition to my bag collection. Next, I have on the flowery tassel sequins flapper dress. And this piece is so gorgeous and so much fun. I cannot get over all of those little beaded flowers paired with the tassels. It's just, it's too good. The asymmetrical design is a little edgy, but it still has all these really nice feminine touches, like a glitter lining down the V of the dress, and like I mentioned, all the flowers. There is a lot of stretch and room in this dress as well, so it's very comfortable and easy to move in, very easy to wear for long periods of time. I love all the little touches and details on this dress, like the sequin leaves and that connecting chain slash vine throughout it. The little pops of color and just that fun playfulness is so me and I love this dress so much. And paired with it, I have the 1920s vintage flapper beaded clutch. It comes in four different colors, but I chose creamy taupe. And again, I am just completely drooling over how ornate and detailed these purses are. They are truly so stunning and one of a kind. I love all that attention to detail and once again the inside is lined, pocketed, and also comes with a chain. I have a deep personal love and fascination for beaded and embroidered bags in particular and I really love that color combo of the darker metal with the creamy almost champagne color. It's so pretty. Next I have the classic 20s H-line two-piece day dress. The top is a bit more fitted, and on the bottom is this asymmetrical, very, very shiny, sequiny, fringy skirt. 
and on top we are also wearing a removable vest that is aligned and matches the sequins. Personally, I really enjoy it with the vest, but I think it looks good either way. Of all the dresses, I think this one feels so 1920s. It's very flapper-esque, and I think it would be a perfect Halloween costume that you could also rewear for other occasions. All around, it's a pretty fun and unique piece, and I love that interesting asymmetrical hem on the bottom. Really cool. I wore it with the beaded leaf sparkling headband. I think it pairs perfectly with this dress. I love how they go together. The flowers are very secure on there because the construction of them is thicker and it looks like solid colors from a distance, but up close you see it is all intricate beadwork through the entire thing. The headband stayed very secure on my head the entire time I wore it. I do like that they offer some more casual accessory options so you can wear this on the day to day, everyday life sort of style but it can still very easily be dressed up and made fancy. I am now wearing the charming floral ruffle hem day dress, and this is easily one of my favorites from the entire collection. I love this dress so much. It is so me. I love the romantic, almost sort of gothic vibe to it. The shape and silhouette of it is so interesting and cool. I love all those little pieces on the bottom. I like the texture there and how it drapes and the roses. The color of them are so pretty. And then you also have that mesh panel at the top. This is genuinely a dress I would just wear all the time casually, but I would certainly bring this out for a day, a party, some sort of special occasion because it's just so pretty. Next, we have the chic cap sleeve beaded H-line flapper dress. This one might be the fanciest of the bunch in my opinion because the detail on this dress is truly insane. From the distance, it might just appear as a pink dress, but up close you see all of that beautiful beadwork and attention to detail, and it carries through the entire dress. It is sheer, but there is a slip attached underneath. But you do see that sheer element a little bit with the peekaboo part at the bottom. What I love about this dress is that the closer you get up to it, the more you see, and the amount of detail in there is just so stunning. I paired the dress with the gorgeous pearl choker necklace set, and I love the old antique vintage look of it, and it also comes with a removable pearl necklace, so it is the choker and a separate necklace together for the price of one. I like this set because it allows for a lot of variety. You can style it in a myriad of ways, so you can wear it isolated with just the choker or just the necklace. You can wear the necklace long or loop it, you can turn that into a choker, so there is a lot of styling possibilities with this set. I am now wearing the elegant handcrafted floral day dress. Another dress with a very striking color, it's really beautiful in the texture of it, makes it even prettier. The way that it shines and catches the light in the overall silhouette and the flower on the shoulder, the whole thing really does evoke the imagery of florals and plants and of course I love that. It has great movement and shape but the fabric is lightweight and breathable. I think it would be perfect to wear to a wedding as a guest. And I really love that flower on the shoulder. It's really whimsical and fun and playful and I think this dress is just really cute. I paired the dress with the Retro Teardrop Crystals Dangle Earrings and these are so beautiful. I love the color of them. They're really unique and very art deco, very 1920s but they feel very luxurious and glamorous. They do have some weight to them without being too heavy and that is something I'm really sensitive to. I will not wear heavy earrings but these were very comfortable and did not bother me one bit. They're relatively lightweight while still being sturdy and these are definitely going to help me up my jewelry game a bit because I'm lacking in that department but super super cute. I am now wearing the classic pleated waistband lace day dress and this has to be one of my favorites again from the entire bunch. It is stunning and so me. I felt really really good and great in this dress. I love all of the draping and layers and the way that it moves. It's so pretty and ethereal. I love the sheerness to it and all the lace. And my favorite part of it is this little strap, this extra piece of fabric that is attached to the right shoulder of the dress. There's so much versatility with this dress because you can use that piece and wear it a few different ways. And I love that. I love how my clothes can function in multiple ways. I really love how that fabric looks styled as a scarf. I think it's so cute and perfect for fall. While you can definitely style this dress up and make it a little bit dressier, it's also casual enough to wear it on the day to day. 
It comes in two colors. I am wearing the color cinnamon. The shade of orange is so pretty. I love how the fabric hangs on the back and that little lace element coming through. I love the bow on the front and all the pleats and details. Every time I put this dress on, I did not want to take it off because I love it so much. It's definitely one of my favorite pieces now. And we are finishing off things with the rest of the accessories, starting with the fully beaded pearl flapper tassel cap. I was so excited to try this piece out because it's really unique and interesting. I've never worn or owned anything like this and it's really cool and stylish. It comes in three different colors but I went with the black because that felt like the safest to try but now that I have it on I would love the other colors because I think it's that cool and I think I would get good use out of them. It's well constructed and comfortable to wear. It fits my head super comfortably. I could definitely see myself wearing this to the run fair or something like that. Next we have the vintage rhinestone peacock hair clip this comes in two different colors and styles and i am wearing it in the teal green very flapper very art deco in 1920s this would be a perfect accessory for a costume or some sort of event that you're going to it's very easy to put on and off with this little clip on the back it is very lightweight and you can really place it wherever you like to on your head and it will stay secure i love the drama and theatricality of this piece the texture and colors it's just so fun when i want to add a touch of glamour and excitement to my hairstyle i think this is a great option now we have the art deco rhinestone studded earrings they come in two colors and i'm wearing them in dark red this pair is also comfortable to wear a little bit of weight while not being too heavy and still sturdy i love all the different shapes happening throughout the earring to me, they also have a very gothic, glamorous feeling to them, very vampiric, and I love that. They are a bit smaller than the other ones, so I feel like these are really good for day-to-day, -day, more casual wear, but they are still quite fancy. And these are another nice addition to my jewelry. The last necklace I have to show you is the unique Gatsby knotted pearl necklace. I love how dynamic and bold this look is. The two-tone grabbed my attention immediately, and I think it's an edgy twist to an otherwise very classic type of jewelry. Most of the necklaces secure with a clasp in the back, and it's very easy to put on and off. I really enjoy this modern interpretation of pearl jewelry and I like that the 1920s influence is still there while still feeling, you know, like its own unique piece. And the last item I have is the sophisticated pearl body chain beaded shawl. I may be overusing the words cool and unique here, but they apply just the same because what an interesting eye-catching statement kind of accessory. It definitely has some weight to it. I feel very protected in it, almost like I'm wearing armor and I love that feeling. I think it's really cool. It secures in the back with two clasps and the handiwork on this is really good. It feels sturdy, like these pearls are not gonna go anywhere. I'm looking forward to experimenting with this and it just adds a total wow factor to any look. So pretty impressive haul. <laughs> Thank you, baby on once again. And if you're interested in checking them out, everything will be linked in the description below. You can use the code new 15 for 15% 15 off your first order of $120 or more. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, we are going to be styling fall trends and outfits, but I thought it would be fun to get a little bit more specific with it and style for certain scenarios. So we're styling these outfits for fall activities and other kinds of festivities in mind. But for my first concept slash prompt, I guess, I thought it'd be fun to style some of these for Halloween. Halloween is right around the corner so I wanted to style some of the dresses with that in mind because I think a lot of these dresses could function well as Halloween costumes but you can of course wear them for other occasions and they can last in your closet they're not going to be this disposable thing that you just you know toss as soon as you're done using it you know quality dresses that you can rewear so I love the idea of incorporating like your normal wardrobe into your Halloween costume I've always been a build it, make it yourself Halloween person. Didn't really have a choice growing up in the matter, but in either case, that's still what I would go with even today. So that's exactly what we're doing. But I came up with this idea to pair this dress with some cool masks that I have because this color orange, obviously, hello, Halloween. And I decided to pair it with the brown boots because I thought the colors looked nice together. But I also wanted to style an outfit for Halloween that is going to be weather appropriate. <laughs> Because a lot of Halloween costumes, it's like hardly, it's, it's not a lot of clothes. And where I live now, it's pretty cold for Halloween. So you could easily add tights to this and a jacket if you need to. But here's the base and I'm also including this colorful little bag. Again, the colors just kind of make me think of candy and there's pops of Halloween colors in there in orange. <laughs> but I have uh, this Halloween mask. I usually decorate with these in my house. I never wear stuff like this out because I am terrified of wearing masks. Honestly, I can't do it. 
I'm very claustrophobic. I don't like stuff on my face. But the colors went really well, I thought. And I was like, have fun with that beach to just wear some kind of cool mask and vintage inspired or vintage dress with it. Just kind of clash decades. And back in the day, like old Victorian Halloween costumes, I love looking at them. And people were so creative, but a lot of them were really creepy and weird. But it was all like unique and personal. So I'm taking a lot of inspo from that. But I'll put it on just so you can get the effect. What do we think? <laughs> I cannot leave this on for like more than a few seconds, but uh, here's the vision. A kooky vintage inspired Halloween costume. I also have this cat one. There's that up close. I think I got those at Walmart a few years ago. I have seen them sold at Spirit though. And I also do have this mask too. If there's any Bioshock girlies in my audience, let me know. <laughs> but this mask is from the video game Bioshock. And it's really cool, like just the atmosphere of the game. But the characters are one of the reasons I love the game so much. And they're really fun and unique. And there's these villains called Splicers. But they're essentially wearing, you know, outfits like this, 1920s clothing, and they all wear bunny masks or animal masks, and they're crazy. They try to kill you in the game. <laughs> But that's what this is from. I think this would pair a little bit better with one of the black dresses, but I still wanted to just like show you it as an option. You know, I don't know what you have to work with at home, but you can mix and max, but you can mix and match, mix and mask, <laughs> but you can change out the mask and personalize it more to you. Okay, here is the next outfit. I'm not totally sure what I think, <laughs> but the idea is definitely there. And I understand the vision. When I first put this dress on, I immediately wondered for whatever reason what a turtleneck would look like underneath. And so I wanted to try that out. But I wanted to push myself a little bit more than just, you know, throwing that on and calling it a day. So I took that extra piece of fabric and I laid it. I like kind of draped it across my shoulder and it's just tucked in here underneath the vest. But I essentially created like a new neckline for the dress by doing that. And then I put the pearl necklace on, just the long part of it. I pulled it up tight into a choker just to adjust the length to what I wanted. And then I rolled my turtleneck down just because I didn't want as much of the pearl detail up here. I obviously already had the boots on. So then I grabbed this hat because it's just my go-to hat <laughs> and it matches the boots perfectly. And then I just decided to get crazy with the layering. So I threw on this denim vest, just make it even more cold weather appropriate. And then I finished the look with this sweater purse. I recently thrifted this. I have been finding a lot of really cute bags lately, but I love this thing. It's really cute. I'm definitely going to use it a lot in the cooler months. Yeah, here is the finished look because you could wear this to go get coffee, go to a market or something, maybe just a casual dinner with friends. I definitely see this outfit being worn, you know, when the temperature is brisk, but not too cool, you know, spending the day or evening out. Outfit number two. <laughs> okay, here is our next outfit. Slightly more toned down than the last one or slightly more dressed up depending on your perspective. <laughs> it definitely feels fancy. Here. With the last look, we were going casual. This one, I wanted to feel a little dressier. The scenario I had in mind for this one would be going to the club, going to the bar, going out with your friends, maybe even a date or something like that. Something where you want to feel a little, you know, sassy. <laughs> I added my little heart necklace and I paired it with this bag. And I don't know, I just think this looks really good. Sometimes simple is where it's at. And I like this. I could definitely see myself wearing something like this out. And if the occasion involves a little dancing, that's always good. <laughs> Not for me, because I'm a terrible dancer. And I don't usually try to subject people to that in public setting. For anyone who wants to dance around. <laughs> But I might have to take some lessons because I feel like a lot of these dresses, especially this one, definitely deserve to be twirled around and seen, of course. But I'm obsessed with that hem. It's so cool. It looks a little witchy too with these boots. There's a lot of potential with this piece. We're just having some fun here. <laughs> this outfit's a little uh, out there. Slightly chaotic, but I think it works. I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting. Kind of a vibe. I'm not exactly sure where you would wear an outfit like this. <laughs> Maybe to an art gallery or something like that because it just has, you know, very artsy vibes. I sort shut the shoes just to mix it up and then i took this mesh dragon top and i layered it on top of the dress and then i took the second piece which is the vest and then put that on top and then i took one of my beaded bags and paired it with that because i think the gold pulls out certain colors in the dragon and of course you can never have too many sequins can you <laughs> if this video has taught us anything it's that but then i topped off the look with this red beret and again it ties into the dragon so i feel like all the colors and patterns are balanced and cohesive it kind of keeps the look from being too chaotic, you know? Like I said, I, I feel like a gallery curator or something. <laughs> all in all, I think this is a creative and cool look. I was really inspired by the insanity of the last outfit. <laughs> and so I wanted to get a little bit more insane. I can't tell if I'm a creative genius or if this is one of the worst outfits I've ever put on my body. <laughs> uh, no shade to the dresses. But this styling concept is New York Fashion Week. No, I did not attend and probably will never attend. <laughs> 
but it's still inspiring and I like seeing all the fun fashion. I've been seeing a lot of cool looks lately so this is just kind of pieced together from a lot of different images and clothing and runway shows that I've seen <laughs> but I do have to give myself props for my creativity here. I realized that the hems for these two dresses were kind of similar. This is the same black sequin one that I had on and so I wanted to see what they looked like together. And I think it's pretty interesting. It definitely helps to move this dress in an edgier direction. And since I thought it looked kind of edgy, I just went with that, you know? But I wanted to draw more of the 1920s influence into the look. So it's a mix of lots of modern and vintage inspiration. But we obviously have the green dress on top of the black one. And then I added this little mini tiny grommet belt i think that's what that's called it's like a little skinny belt you can barely see it but just to add a little texture and visual interest there and tie in with the black since it also peekaboos a bit up here and i kept the same boots because i liked how they looked but the legs looked a little bare so i added these red tights and the color clashing is really fun green and red are actually complementary colors so i think they look quite nice together but then since we have a lot of um the darker edgy elements i wanted to add some lighter pieces so i took this little pearl basket bag and i took that little drawstring compartment out just so it's hollow i feel like it's very newer fashion a week to have like a statement bag I guess something that's a little different you know than just a normal purse I wanted to connect more of the white pearl to the bag so I layered both of the baby on necklaces together and I think it looks so cool and then I obviously finished the look off with this cap and I don't know I think it's really fun would I wear this to the grocery store Maybe. Maybe I should start dressing like this to go to the grocery store. I wanted to do another New York Fashion Week look, and I think this is really fun. I took the hem on the bottom and just lightly kind of tied it into a little bow slash knot. For this part, I just took some of the extra fabric and balled it up, and I took a little elastic hair tie and tied it up that way. So it's kind of like I'm continuing the floral pattern down the dress by tying it up like that. And it's just a fun way to get more wear out of it. And I love the red tights combo, so I decided to keep that. But this time I opted for some chunky black boots and I paired it with a black handbag that I also recently thrifted to match. And then I added some earrings. I'm wearing the red ones from earlier. And then I also took these sparkly heart clips I had and put those on. And to match the colors even more, I have these vintage bracelets. This one has a green stone. And these ones are red, so it matches the colors perfectly. But I'm a fan of this. I think it's really cute. Like I said, I have been consuming some Fashion Week content. I actually think this is pretty similar to some things I've been seeing lately. In my alternate universe, you know, where I'm famous and <laughs> getting invited to things, I would uh, highly consider wearing this. Here is our next look. <laughs> uh, let me explain. <laughs> um, so I am wearing these devil horns. I got these at the Ren Fair when I was like, I don't know, like 12 or something like that. <laughs> and I've held on to them ever since. Um, but I'll get up close to show you. But they're handmade. They're really cool. I am, in fact, the owner of multiple pairs of elf ears. <laughs> uh, but I can't find them. And I wanted them, actually, for this specific lookbook and for this video. So change of plans for just going with a different kind of idea for this look. But yeah, you're not hallucinating. I do have horns on my head. So my original intent was to create an outfit for the Ren Fair, which this still could work, you know. But instead, I just decided to lean more into the Halloween kind of direction. But this look is still really casual and chill. So if you didn't want to put on a full costume, just some inspiration for that, where you can still wear something that's fun and enjoy the holiday without having to like, you know, head to toe be in a costume. So I've got these little devil horns and I paired it with some green socks to match. There's a lot of different shades of green going on. It would suit my brain a little bit to have them match better <laughs> but that's okay i think the concept is still there and i don't think it looks that bad to be honest but i had these green socks the green horns and so i tied this green ribbon around my neck but then i got this cool idea to put a button on there and i've actually never tried that before using buttons as more jewelry i guess you have to be very careful not to stab yourself in the neck <laughs> when you do this but i really like that i think it's fun i used this button because it's one of the smaller ones i had but the green of course ties in and this is horror which is perfect uh because i'm dressed like like a little devil character so but i like this look it's comfortable and fun and i did just pair it with this black bag and loafers just to keep things simple and cohesive but i thought it matched the vibe of the dress so here's another vintage inspired fantasy kind of do-it-yourself sort of costume here's our next outfit i really like this it's very casual and simple and easy i wanted to challenge myself with how casual can i make these dresses because a lot of them obviously have a lot of luxe and glamour to them you know lots of glitz and sequins but since this one is more minimal fabric wise and texture wise i thought this one would be easier to style but um still somewhat of a challenge because it has all of this going on so to bring it down more into casual everyday wear i added this little cardigan i have and i brought back the sweater bag i then added some bracelets vintage red one again and i actually made this spider one from charms i got at michael's for a little touch of spookiness again when i had all this on my legs looked a little bit bare when i had tried the boots on so i decided to grab these floral tights again the black matches this is just a nude skin 
skin color so it doesn't really disrupt the flow too much but all the floral details match the flowers up here and so while overall the outfit looks pretty simple there's a lot of interesting textures and nuanced little patterns and stuff happening throughout it but i would wear this literally anywhere <laughs> grocery store movies thrifting out for dinner hanging out with friends yeah i really like this here is the next outfit i wanted to try styling this blue dress somehow in every video i end up in a red white and blue color scheme <laughs> Just because my love of red, I guess. But I really like how this looks. It feels a little bit Parisian. It makes me think of Madeline. <laughs> I don't know if you remember those books. So I decided I wanted to let the dress stand out and then, you know, accessorize. So I knew I wanted to pair the red flats with it just because of the color contrast I thought would look good. But tights didn't look quite right, so I paired it with some socks. And they are knee socks, which I originally had pulled up, but then I scrunched them down with the flats and I like this look a little bit more. They almost look like leg warmers when you scrunch them down like that. And I kept the bag simple because I want the focus to be almost of this but i did add this little silver necklace i have and i put on my strawberry beret which you don't usually see the strawberries when i wear this my back of the head is not on the camera as much there are strawberries on it and so i took my strawberry pin and put it through the beret and i did kind of fold it inward i've been trying to style it a little bit better and differently this might actually be how you're supposed to wear it i've been kind of wearing it like a beanie this whole time you can wear clothes however you want i think i've proved that in this video but i really like how it looks i think it just sits on my head a little bit better this way but again i love the theming of the strawberries and paired with the stripe and the blue it's just really fun and cute i, know, I just i feel like a little doll or something <laughs> but again it's so casual you can really wear this anywhere i think this would be perfect for like a lunch date going to the bookstore those kinds of things i could see myself wearing this too just exploring like downtown areas walking around it's nice and loose and comfortable so this look is also a little out there <laughs> but if you're not used to that yet maybe this is not the right channel for you half of my style is just throwing things together so that's that's exactly what I did. <laughs> I was inspired, I guess, by the sporty nature of the dress. Like I mentioned before, I feel like it has an athletic look to it. it. Makes me think of tennis dresses and skirts. And so I was inspired by the concept of athleisure, but I leaned into the direction of more bloquette styles. So that's the combination of coquette with sportswear. And so first I added this hat to the look, and then I decided to keep the shoes and socks because I just liked how it looked. But then I added this other dress on top. It's sheer and has stars all over it. But I liked that you didn't totally lose the dress underneath of it. And then the pop of blue mixes with the orange, which these are also complementary colors. This is more of like a peachy tone, still in the orange family. So you have this bright blue with the orange. And then tying into the red of the shoes, I decided to add this red fanny pack that I like to wear as a crossbody. Then to just tie in a little bit more red and add some more detail up here, I put a red ribbon around the collar. But there's also red lettering in the dad hat. So ultimately all the colors pull through because you also have blue up here and orange of course yeah very pinterest core but i think it works i think it's fun i don't know it has my own personal spin on the idea but again this is another very casual comfortable look that you could wear anywhere it does lean a little summery i'll admit just the color palette but i still think it works for fall especially because there's a lot of warmer days in between until the temperatures finally drop definitely still works for days like that i hope you enjoyed the outfits and this video let me know which piece is your favorite really hard for me to choose but i hope you're all enjoying the beginning of your spooky season and i hope this gave you some ideas for halloween time and other things you have planned this year i appreciate you so much if you watch this entire video like and commenting and sharing all that stuff it really helps out the channel have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye